Eileen, like you said about cars not being able to travel, that's a perfect example right here in Lackawanna. This is not a snowbank. This is Fowler Street. This is this has not even been touched by a plow, residents tell me. And let's walk right over here. It's interesting, when our crew got here, it looks like plows have pushed the snow to the beginning of the street, and then that's it. And then the snow has piled up so much. Alex, our photographer Alex, I'm going to have you pan right over to the other side. I can't even walk over there. It's almost to the top of the fire hydrant and almost halfway up the stop sign. This is one of many streets in Lackawanna that are just like this. I spoke with a couple of residents in the area. They say they're not too happy that they have to dig themselves out. Shoveling out, an average Buffalo chore for some. Gary, how long have you guys been shoveling? Uh, probably close to an hour. For others, it's taken days to get out of their homes. Uh, it, it's been hectic and being disabled is kind of hard, you know, and um, you can't really do anything. And in Lackawanna, one of the last places in western New York to be under a travel ban, cars, driveways, and neighborhood roads all snowed in. That's no big surprise the snow was here. It happens. The city of Buffalo says they want to have every single street plowed by the end of the day. So we're working as hard as we can to, to get to everybody. So it's, um, you know, we're, we're anticipating, you know, sometimes, the, you know, throughout the course of the day, we'll, we'll be able to get back. I reached out to Lackawanna's Department of Public Works and Department of Public Safety for their timeline, and I'm still awaiting comment. In the meantime, people are pleading for those around them to lend a helping hand. Well, not for nothing, a lot of the neighbors, They'll sit there and watch. We love you guys. You know, it's all about love and it's all about friendship and it's all about growing together. And that's what God got us out here for is to help each other. And that's how we climb the ladder. You know, it's interesting when I was just on camera a few seconds ago, somebody else walked up to me and said after I said that residents were not happy about digging themselves out, somebody came up to me and said, you're definitely right about that. They had spent two hours before the second wave came to Lackawanna digging themselves out. Then they had to spend another couple of hours doing the same. Now, again, I haven't heard from Lackawanna between the Department of Public Safety or the Department of Public Works, but when I do get those answers, you at home will be the first to know.